Do not trust what your eyes see in order to see someone's true value. And the mate selection process of the modern day is like 98% visual, at least for whether or not to even take them on a date. How many uh, dating apps are based on swiping within, you know, based on what you see, 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 see? Here's a challenge I have for you that I actually gave myself. Imagine trying to date if you were blind. How would you find a wife if you were blind? I invite you to ponder that because it'll change your way of approaching the whole thing real quick. How the heck are you supposed to pick a wife if you can't see her? Am I the only one who went through that phase? If your experience with attraction is all passive and you're waiting for attraction to happen to you, you're screwed. You're going to end up running into rocks and going off waterfalls. But when you've decided in advance what you're going to be attracted to and you're going to force your system to comply. I will be more attracted to a woman who's respectable than one who looks good in a tube top. I'm going to be more attracted to a woman who's admirable and who receives revelation and who get, has a connection with God than one who can wear a bikini. Now, convincing your animal brain of that, if you haven't noticed, it already starts a fight. Don't worry, if you respect and admire a woman, a female with girl parts, you're going to be attracted to her. Just put a blindfold on if you have to, so that you can actually be attracted to the part that matters. And I hope that you're a little angry at any time that is mentioned, picking a mate with, with a blindfold on. If that bothers you, I hope it pisses you off a bit. Because which one of us wanted to be programmed by visual animal-based reactions? We are all too sophisticated to prefer that. And we all know enough about the 10 to 20 year process that that ain't gonna keep. It ain't gonna last. If you're finding this video helpful or wanna help us reach others in need, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because it really supports our channel. Thank you. I needed someone to be just solid, stable, steady because I was going to get all my stimulation from the stories I was going to hear in my office and the work I was going to do outside of my home. I didn't need any drama in my home. My wife, I don't put pictures of her up anywhere. There's none in my office. I do that for two reasons. One, I don't want people to think she's more attractive than they thought and I don't want people to think that she's uglier than they thought. I don't want anyone having any opinion about what my wife looks like because that's not what's relevant. Man, I had a, a 46 year old, 47 year old woman in my office the other day and she has panic attacks in Relief Society because she's afraid her husband will be more attracted to other women than her. And this woman lives in the gym. Apparently in Utah, body surgeries are quite popular amongst LDS women. Why? Because they don't get as much appreciation, attention, and love from their men and their animal brains if they don't do surgery on their bodies. Try to have a conversation with a girl as if you're blind. Try and experiment sometime. If you're on a second date, say, I wanna try something. I wanna have a date with you where I'm blind, where I'm blind, wear a blindfold and I don't touch you at all. And watch your brain go, what do you even do? Like, <laughs> what do you talk about? Like, uh, how, do you, how do you interact with a woman if you can't see her or touch her? And then your animal brain will scream, what's the point? Why would I even wanna be in the presence of a woman if I can't see her or touch her?